Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Art World Confessions. You know, these days everyone, well not everyone, I have quite a few friends, including collectors, who are not in Basel right now. But um, I wanted to talk about art in St. Bart's, which is, you know, in some ways the polar opposite of uh, Switzerland, of Basel. But at least they have a few things in common, and that's uh, art and very often high net work uh, inhabitants, let's call it uh, inhabitants, or part-time inhabitants as the case may be. Yes, yeah, Switzerland is a great place to be based part-time. A lot of their residents are based there part-time. And St. Bart's is the same. No one lives there really year-round except the locals. And um, <laughs> so, I mean, I've been there quite a few times. And what's interesting about St. Bart's is uh, there are a lot of high net worth people who have art collections and from time to time you will see galleries do pop-up exhibitions there big name galleries too you can just uh, google it and find out there are some local galleries there that work year-round uh, I'm not sure if they're open year-round because I don't go all the time but um, some of those galleries have open spaces outside of St. Bart's as well and they show art I've been very lucky to meet like Barishnikov at one of those galleries a uh, very friendly, handsome, sweet man. Um, and I've met lots of other people uh, in the gallery scene in St. Bart's. Very often, uh, you know, you'll see a range of everything. You'll see photography, you'll see painting, you'll see sculpture. Um, part of it is that there's a captive audience and there's obviously a desire to engage with art even when you're on quote-unquote vacation. And, uh, you know, these people are probably buying art just like they go shopping for a new handbag or a new uh, shoe or dress or whatever. So when you're there, you have a specific clientele, you have specific artists, and uh, people are shopping for art just as they're shopping for jewelry. And um, it's very interesting St. Bart's. I remember the first time I went there, because I myself am from the Caribbean, not from French Caribbean, but English-speaking Caribbean. The first time I went to St. Bart's, I was like, okay, what did they do with all the black people? <laughs> I mean, the history of Bar St. Bart's is not such that there was an African population to begin with. There are mixed people. You can see, obviously, they're mixed race, but they think they're white. Kind of like in the South of America, where uh, there's so many people, if they did a DNA test, they wouldn't be so racist anymore because they'd realize that part of them is uh, of African descent. I mean, we're all of African descent, but... I mean, specifically in your genes, you could probably find recent uh, interactions or what's called miscegenation between the races. But anyway, so you, you land in St. Bart's and there's very few black people around, like very few. I mean, there might be some people coming from St. Martin and they work there as taxi drivers or whatever else and then they go back home at some point after the season or even after the night on the ferry or whatever. But... Um, yeah, so you have this population that's also very French. So the French people are coming there to work in the restaurants and the hotels and to work as concierges and um, masseuse and whatever other services uh, wealthy people need, like chefs or whatever they need. And they're all French. And then from time to time, you'll see someone like uh, Rihanna, who's black, or Russell Simmons, who's black, or I don't know, any my battery died. Anyway, I was saying that, yeah, so you see these people who are celebrities, black celebrities in the USA uh, as the only black people on the island. And then <laughs> you have all these uh, French people working there and basically living there seasonally and then going back to whatever part of France that they're from. So going back to the art, the main focus, I think, of the galleries is catering to the clients who are traveling from all over the world, uh, like these high net worth clients, and showing them art while they're there, entertaining them while they're there, and, you know, continuing their relationship, which is, for the most part, transactional. And, uh, you know, this is the thing about uh, spending money and the exchange of money. When you exchange a lot of money between people, you really do build a bond. There's the bond of trust, of course, but there's also a bond that you've invested so much with this person 
that there is a strong connection or relationship or is what some art dealers would call a friendship. <laughs> Anyways, so that's it for today's episode. I think you can always Google art in St. Bart's and just see all of the exhibitions that have been there, the galleries that are there. They're changing all the time, like I said, and um, what was happening a few years back may not be happening today. I know there is a huge emphasis culturally for from the government down to encourage all this art activities on the island and uh, there probably are some other local initiatives that come up from time to time uh, and you can just like I said search that online and find out. So that's it for today's episode of Art World Confections. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification button and I will have another episode soon for you on this channel. Stay tuned.